So everyone leads differently. So again, understanding how you lead, it's important that you establish a culture out of who you are as a leader. For me, um, I'm not good at a lot of stuff. So I have to get as many talented people around me as possible. So I want to establish a very empowering leadership culture. Uh, and again, I think for most church planners, you're gonna need this as well too, because if you try to do everything yourself, you're gonna burn out, you're gonna burn out real quick. Maybe, I mean, you might be able to push it for five years, but after that, man, it's gonna suck. So uh, empowering the people around me, believing in them, uh, seeing, seeing who they can and will be, helping them develop their talents and their gifts, doing whatever I can to resource that, whether they're with us for a year or two years or five years, understanding that it's not just about sowing into um, your dream in your church, but you're really sowing into the kingdom when you're developing other leaders around you. So I'd say empower leaders, develop leaders, believe in leaders.